All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. It should be interesting to see how this fight plays out stylistically. On one side, we have as high-level a wrestler as we have seen cross into this division in some time. And I know you guys enjoyed talking wrestling in the fighter meeting. Is it your expectation he's going to try to take this fight down early? Oh, John, he's going for a single leg right away. Yeah. It's his best takedown. He wants to take you down and he wants to worry you out. He wants to go from position A to position B. Position A, take him down. Position B, on the ground, move to C, get to the mount. Try to find a way to dominate, and in between, suffocate him. Make him work at every single turn. This guy's tremendous. He is the embodiment of the fight style that so many of us use. Well, as you know, every MMA round begins on the feet, but prevailing wisdom is this one could hit the canvas and sooner rather than later. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the cooler. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is an Ultimate Fighter season winner and former UFC light heavyweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Sugar Rashad. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready. Good. All right, round one is underway. Sugar Rashad Evans set to take the center of the octagon here. His last first round finish against Chael Sonnen, UFC 167 in 2013. We'll see if he can add to that total tonight and get off to a good start here in what is another high profile spot for the former champion. Oh, a huge block there. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all... Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Oh, high-level stuff here with the grounded pound by Evans. I need you to get up now. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Rashad going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. 
Good, solid strike on the ground. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Just over three minutes to go. Good spin. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's gotten his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? And busy as he looks to improve position here. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. I need you to scramble, scramble. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Good work from the top here by Evans. There it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, nice straight punch there by Evans. All right, so he lands another hook. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the most significant. That was the best one. But what I like about him throwing this punch over and over again, he just has a fantastic ability to land that punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Evans gets hit by that leg kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. There's that hook again. This time it's blocked. Well, the forecast is true. Goes back to the hook shot, but unable to land. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take two bails off the deck. Nice jab by Evans. minutes ago here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. He's going guillotine. Oh, that guillotine choke is tough. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Evans is in half goal. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Now he's going full mount. This is where he wants to be. Great job finding his shots from the top position. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Oh, nice elbow from the top. Notice how loose his arm was when he threw that. He's doing a great job of fighting. Oh, oh, so saved by the bell. He was getting grounded and pounded something fierce there near the end of the round. You see it's going to take him a good chunk of these 60 seconds between rounds just to get back to his feet. So a big moment here at the end of the round. We'll see if he can recover in time to make the walk here for this next round. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and bound as the round came to an end. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Evans is now switching his stance. Nice block. <laughs> Was able to get that right hand over the top and to the target. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Right hook to the head block. So the hands are crispy and not, not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. American himself, this is a 
fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. He's got to be careful here. Making all these shots count. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Bottom he fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, another brutal hook by him there. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He was able to fight through them in the previous round. Still plenty of time to go in this one. Still plenty of time to go in this round. And if he is not careful, one of those hooks will put him to sleep. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. He has a beautiful strike from the bottom. Nicely done. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Gotta get out of there. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for the finish. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not <laughs> a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move, make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish, and then you try and count them. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Circling through his right. Uh, he might be a one-eyed fighter before too long. That right eye starting to shut. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. 30 seconds to go in round two. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Under 20 seconds now to go. Final seconds. Let's go. Evans is in half guard now. All right, round three coming up next. All right, take a seat, buddy. Three, four. Great round. Okay, you're doing great out positioning on the ground. I want more of that. This round, I need you to stay a little more. All right, no telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my telestrator, man? Uh -huh. I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Got to think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. It's a three-back, cash, dollar-dollar bills, y'all. Every single...
single strike he landed it was on point it was accurate and it was heavy every time he let loose he was able to land and land to great effect well he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here Just misses with that one. Back to the overhand. Nice slip and counter there by Evans. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Great block there. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh! He's hurt bad. Just out of range with the straight left hand. She's throwing that jab now again. The fighter of Ace. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Well, not sure if I should knock this fight out, Q, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find the punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Evans' eye looks so swollen now, you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. <laughs> Slips the punch nicely there. And he blocks the shot there. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Just missed with the left there. Both sides start to open up a little bit. Evans is bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his left. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Out of range with that one. Those are the body kicks that are crumbling. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, great block there. Evans gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to be Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Battling for hooks. And now some distance as they pull apart. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Great defense. That punch had no chance. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. It's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's going to keep going there. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Evans. 
All right, there's the horn. The round is over. The swelling on the fighter's eye is only getting worse. And at some point, I'm not even sure if the end swell is going to do anything. I mean, you have got to really think about fighter safety at this point in time. The eye is not shut. It is certainly moving in that direction. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many Let's more fight. of these shots, this fight, fight is going to be stopped due to this yeah. one. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. That patented single. Fist here by Evans. Well, he's got his back now. Mm, that was nice. And he is back up to his feet. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Right on the button. Circling away towards the left now. Swing and a miss with that punch by Evans. Beautiful hand skills here. The right and the left. Oh, overhand lands. That'll leave us up. Now leather being thrown on both sides. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Evans' torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise started to form on that right side. Strong straight left there. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice straight there by Evans. Keep your hands up. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. He didn't like that left hand. He's hurt again. Hold your ground. I need you to go forward. Ooh, what a punch. Those are big strikes. Try to establish that jab. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making it. say those don't land, but even if you're blocking a little bit, they still put damage on you. Switch, he lands to the body. Oh, the separation with the clinch. Just misses there with the left. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad, you cannot back off. He kicks your time. He's right there picking. Go pick the truth. <laughs> Big shots being landed on both sides here. Under a minute now to go on the round. Evans' eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. Nice jab. 
up now and now the damage is about to start he passed the half guard great job landing the strike from his back Evans ground and pound from half guard well he grounded him and now he's trying to pound him out great ground strikes here Another ground and pound strike gets home. And there's the buzzer indicating hey, the end of round four. All right, somewhat mercifully, that is the end of the round. The swelling around his uh, eye is out of control. Cut right man hustling in quickly, up. but I think they might four. stop this fight, DC. Remember, the one I closed, here we go. Hand up. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head. And he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Ready. Ready. Do it. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Push kick there to the body. Just missed on the front kick there. Well, he's going to have to go back to the drawing board defensively, but in terms of this fight, he's been totally dominated, and that swelling's getting out of control. Swelling's getting out of control. We can't even tell who's in front of us anymore. This guy is beat from start to finish, and right now, the only right thing, at least to me, feels like the fight getting stopped. Oh, nice takedown defense. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Evans is taking aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land strikes on an area that he has already done significant damage on. Certainly a strong front runner for fight of the night as we go down to the wire here between these two combatants. They're both so skilled. They're both so prepared. We do right away. This is going to be a very evenly matched competition. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight. But now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Overhand by Evans. Oh, he blocked that one. Another. He's hurt bad. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. A beautiful head kick lands for this guy. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, Ooh, Superman punch lands. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Side leg kick. Oh! Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. That was a big check. Oh, he's got the hands going. 
Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Oh, the takedown attempt starting to pile up. Here's another one. Unable to secure. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's gonna be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent, but the celebration is on, and one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 52 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the cooler. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.